So these wandering things, they look like stars to the naked eye. Maybe they twinkle a little less. And they're actually quite bright. These are among the bright, well, several of them are the brightest stars in the <laughs> sky, right. which is probably why they were noticed. That's right. They're very noticeable. They're very bright. They change their positions. But uh, they just look like dots. Yeah, th that's it. They, you can't distinguish them from the ground from a normal star. If I put Cirrus next to Jupiter, you won't really know which one it is unless you know. But what, through a what about through a telescope? So, of course, this is something that wasn't done in prehistoric times. When Galileo first turned a telescope on the sky, you saw, saw that with the telescopes at the time, they looked like little disks. So they weren't shaped like the other stars. The other stars, if you look at them through a telescope, still look like a dot. <laughs> in fact, even for the biggest telescopes on Earth, they still look like a dot. <laughs> this is something I have to tell people at the time. There's like, when it's cloudy and there's a clear patch of sky, oh, let's go look at that star. And it's like, it just looks like a star. It doesn't look like anything, unfortunately. Yep. I mean, with a telescope, you can see fainter stars you can't otherwise see, and it makes them look brighter, but they still look like dots. Yeah. But that's not the case for these wandering stars, these planetos, these wanderers. So these had different structure or shapes than yeah. these ones. So they actually look like spheres. So this is what Mars looks like through a ground-based, small-sized telescope, the sort of thing Galileo... Actually, it's rather better than Galileo would have got as a view. Yes. Um, and here's what Venus looks like. Now, this is a bit different. This is like a crescent, like a crescent moon. Yeah, this looks exactly like the moon, to be honest. And we know that we get a crescent moon when the sun is shining on the far side of it. So when the moon, side of the moon that faces the Earth, only a fraction of it is illuminated, that's why we only see the crescent. So, wait, does that mean only a fraction of the side facing the, the Earth of Venus is being illuminated here? Yes, yeah, kind of like it's being lit up from the far side. Yeah, but, okay. Okay, that's going to be a very yeah, good Yeah, clue. yeah, yeah. Um, here's what uh, Jupiter looks like. Beautiful as always, but you could just about make out bands sometimes if you squint pretty hard on it. But we also don't see the it looks full. We don't see that crescent bit of yeah. Jupiter. So Mars and Jupiter and Saturn, you never see the crescent thing, you only ever see the full disc. Okay. Whereas Mercury and Venus, sometimes you see a full disc and sometimes you see a crescent. And that's going to be an important clue as to what's going on. Okay. The other important clue is that for Jupiter, you sometimes felt Galileo right away yes. saw four dots near it, the so-called Galilean satellites. We're going to talk much more about them later, <laughs> and they would move around. Yes. They seem to be moving around Jupiter. Wait, so they're not a fixed sphere of stars moving around the Earth. They're maybe other stars moving around Jupiter? And that's another very important clue. Okay. Um, and here's, in fact, Galileo's original yes. uh, Draw. uh, drawing showing these things moving. And Saturn, you can see the rings, but again, it looks like a disk with a ring around it. Yeah. Pretty still. Everyone loves Saturn. Saturn's a beautiful thing to look at, um, but you're not going to pick up much detail no. for the small telescope. So we now know these things are unusual because they don't just march around the sky and lockstep with everything else. They seem to be a bit independent. That's right. And when you look at them with a telescope, instead of being dots, they're disks. That's right. And two of them have crescent disks sometimes, and the others don't. don't. And one potentially has stuff going around it as well. That's right. So the mystery deepens.